Many people have asked me if I'm worried about overloading the power supply with the new graphics card, and I'm not. And in this video, I'll show you why. The computer that I'm going to be using today is a Dell Optiplex 780 small form factor. This computer only has a 235 watt power supply. It's not a lot, and many people are worried that graphics cards will not be able to be added to the computer because of it. They look at the website and see 300 watt minimum power supply ratings, but that's just a guideline. So I will show you how to know if your computer can handle it. What I've done is connect the computer to a power monitor, which will give me the wattage, so I'll know what the peak wattage of this computer under load is. So as you can see, the computer is sitting at around 40 watts at idle, so I'm just going to start the stress test and see what the wattage jumps up to. Okay, I'm stressing all of the cores all the RAM and the hard drive, and it's staying at 75 watts, which is well within the 235 watt limit of the power supply. After doing a very simple calculation, we find that we can use up to 136 watts in theory. However, the PCIe slot only delivers up to 75 watts, so we'll still go nowhere near the limit. As you can see, it will collide with the drive cage. What you can simply do is just remove the drive cage. That's simply done by just picking these two up and then removing the fan connector. And there you go, the drive cage is now out. And that leaves you with plenty of room to put your graphics card in. But before you can do that, you have to take the IO shield off. Someone has also asked me how you're supposed to remove the VGA cable, and simply, you just rock it back and forth while pulling upwards, and as you can see, it comes off. And that's just because it's held on just by pins, so it's very easy to take off. So once you have replaced the brackets, you can just go ahead and install a card. Since you've removed the drive cage, the hard drive is just not being supported by anything. So what I'm going to do is put a bit of cardboard under it, and hopefully that will prevent uh, prevent metal to metal contact, which could be bad. Obviously, you need your computer to be laying flat, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to come up with something a bit more creative and a bit more safe than this, but I'm just improvising. So after installing the graphics card, the new idle is about 60, so it's gone up by about 20 watts, so not bad. So as you can see, the new maximum wattage is about 135, might go higher than that, but not much. So I'm really not worried about overloading the system, because it's well within boundaries. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a comment down below to tell me what you think of it, to leave a like and to subscribe. Hope to see you next time.